Shalom. <clears throat> All praises, honor, and glorification unto our power. Call Halim la Alahayanawa Yahawa Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Harakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai scattered across the earth. This is your brother Ayala coming to you with another lesson. And Lord willing, this lesson will be entitled. There's going to come a time when we will have to fully detach, right? <clears throat> and our Lord willing, the elect of Yahweh by Shemi, I wish I be edified, which we are already to be spiritually attached. But there's going to be time, there's going to come a time where we're going to have to literally be pilgrims upon the earth, right? We're going to have to physically detach from this system. Right, right now, brothers have their jobs and their, their cards and their bank accounts and so on and so forth. <clears throat> but there's going to come a time that you you won't be able to access the uh, money that you have in the bank without having an MOT to the busy. And you can't be attached to those so-called treasures, if you will, that have been uh, gained upon the earth, right? We should already be spiritually attached, but there's going to come a time where we're going to have to physically detach. <clears throat> Kind of like how, um, where's you know, we ought to be detaching from this place spiritually, right? In the ways of Babylon the Great, like Micah 2 and 10, Jeremiah 51 and 6. But there's going to come a time when we're literally brought out of this place physically, <clears throat> which is Revelation 18 and 4, right? So that's pretty much the point, man. There's going to come a time when we will have to fully detach. And um, let me get some of those scriptures that I quoted. But um, before getting those, this is a screenshot that I took from the video that the elder Kazaki Allah put up. And uh, it was put up a few days ago, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, what you see, you see wave to open. And you see where it's instructing you to swipe your hand. And this is uh, in order to open a door, if I'm not mistaken at a particular place that the uh, elder was at, right? But this is just pre-programming. See, for this, you didn't have to have the actual MOT to the busy in your hand. You just, but they're, what they're doing is they're getting you used to that system and that way of uh, life, if you will, right? Just like they're getting you used to, uh, um, well, it's different things, man. They have the, oh, a new thing is uh, they have where you can unlock your Tesla with the, with the, the MOT to the busy, right? And you got a, uh, you also have robot dogs with the uh, guns mounted on them. So you got a lot of stuff going on, man, right? You know, so we ought to be staying sharp and myself first and foremost being circumspect watching the news right and you know seeking for the signs you know right so uh let me get some of those scriptures so let's see well let's get revelation you know what let me get Habakkuk the second chapter or Habakkuk right Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3 for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right? And, uh, and uh, a lot of Jakes have that spirit of, well, you guys have been saying that this and this and this was going to take place and it hasn't happened yet, right? Well, let's read this pertaining to that matter. Ezekiel 12 and 21. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged and every vision felleth. Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord power. I will make this proverb to seize, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, The days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. For there shall be no more any vain vision, 
nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall no more be prolonged, for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, saith the Lord power. Again the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he saith is for many days to come, and he prophesied for the times that are far off. Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, There shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord power. Right? And this is one of the major prophecies, man. The implementation of the MOT to the busy. Right? But the the biggest prophecy is the, is our Lord Yahweh coming back, right? Revelation the thirteenth chapter and the fifteenth verse, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, right? That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed, and he caused it all, which caused it all going goes into a prepareth both small and great, rich and poor, and free, uh, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that mark is talking about the MOT to the busy, right? The hot chip, right? The potato chip. But you should know what I mean. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the number of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and 6, right? So, uh, you know, I just wanted to bring that out. It was upon my spirit. And that lesson, well, I watched that video a few days ago when the elder had uploaded it. So, Lord willing, the elect of Yahweh by Shemi, I wish I be edified. All praise, his honor, and glorification unto our power. Call Halayim La Alahayin Awi Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Harukakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of great millstone. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai scattered across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Why Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, Babu Kasha, Ababa Ba, Wa Shalawam, DTA soon. Stay sharp.